I think of the ocean as this space that has been kind of a metaphor for freedom. And it still is that. You know, it is a place that people go to escape rules and escape government and escape other people because it's so expansive. But those very allures of the space are what, what has made the ocean a scary place. Few places on the planet are as lawless as the high seas. The ocean is a place of amazing beauty, but it's also this dystopian realm where severe inhumanities occur and often with impunity. What you realize when you're in that void or in that expanse is that most of that space is ungoverned and ungovernable. There are few laws and what laws exist are murky and overlapping and contradictory. Laws are only as good as their enforcement and the enforcement mechanisms for any of the laws are anemic at best. You have human trafficking, sea slavery, abuse of stowaways, weapons trafficking. When the UN looked at it in 2009 and they interviewed Cambodian deckhands, over 50% of them had witnessed murder. A lot of the forced labor that end up on these fishing boats are trafficked migrants and are very poor and easily taken advantage of. One mariner summed it up as this line of work is like jail with a salary, except the salary is not guaranteed. We in the West would, would like to think that things are progressively getting better, and in many ways they are, but in, in this space, things are arguably getting worse. Over 99% of crimes that occur out there go unreported. And there's not a huge point in reporting them because it's never clear who would actually do anything with that information. I think if there's anything to be learned about human nature from the outlaw ocean, it's that we all have this visceral capacity to behave in ways that we thought civilization had stamped out. There's a vanishingly thin line between civilization and the lack of it. And I think the exploration of this frontier is an attempt to look at how thin that line is and what's on the other side.